Amen. Don't run off, you know, nobody. I'm just going to. I thought of this while I was, uh, while was singing. That's a wonderful name, and I thought about Jesus. Amen. What all he done. How many knows a victory in Jesus this morning? Amen. Amen. Ain't you glad? Praise the Lord. Amen. That this man, Jesus, thought enough of you and I to come into this world to die on an old rugged cross to give us life. Amen. And well, that's where we can have it more abundantly, church, amen. And I, I tell you, listen, the, the victory in Jesus, amen. He said, I hear an old, old story, how a Savior came from glory. <laughs> amen, yeah. a Savior, amen. Jesus said he'd come seeking to save those that was lost, amen. Ain't you glad, amen, that he thought enough of you and I, amen. Time, the time goes on down, down generation after generation, here we come along, church, amen, and, uh, amen, and when we was born of our mom, amen, and, uh, amen, it started growing. You know what else started growing in us? And I might not realize it, church, but sin, amen, sin had us bound, amen, but one day, amen, amen. I'm thankful, and I was running around, church, down at the old church, like a wild Indian, amen, amen, and wasn't really thinking about much of nothing, amen. Well, I think about the little girls back in, amen, but all I thought about was playing a ball, or with a ball, amen, but I tell you, church, amen, as I've done that, as we grow up here in the community, but one day, he started dealing with this old boy's heart, praise amen. the Lord, amen, and I'm thankful, amen, that we got to hear the story, of Jesus, church, amen, it changed, uh, it changed lives, amen, uh, yes. uh, turned us completely around, amen, uh, praise his holy name, I'm glad I heard that story, uh, amen, said uh, how he gave his life on Calvary to save uh, a rich like who? Like me, uh, like me, like you all, amen, uh, church was born into this world, lost, amen, born in this world, sinners, amen, uh, Amen, but we had to come to, to realize we was lost. We needed yeah. a Savior. We needed, amen, somebody, amen. And amen. I thank you, friend, amen. And to think about this, amen, we could run uptown all we wanted to, everywhere they got a man, getting some closet with some kind of priest or whatever they call them people. I get in there and confess all we want to to them people. But it wouldn't make a, a one bit of difference, you know that. Hey, ma'am, I tell you who we need to be confessing to. His name, Jesus, yeah, church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one we need to be confessing to. Yeah, hey, man, yeah. I hate to have somebody uh, like me, hey, man, you depend on me to take your door on up to the cross, on up to Jesus. Church and probably never make it because I'd forget how he budgets before I get but ain't you glad this boy Jesus ain't forgot? Amen. And I'm glad he don't forget us. I'm glad, thank God, church, we went to hell. Amen. I, I, church, I believe the Bible said the veil was ripped from top to bottom. And you know what that does? I give us, <laughs> I give you another right standard in Amen. to the holders of holders. Hey man, I'm thankful. Thank God we can walk into this church. We couldn't walk in before, you know that. Right. Hey man, but praise His holy name. Buddy, I'm glad that Jesus, hey man, thought enough of us. Yeah. <laughs> praise the Lord. Hey man, He said that. Where did I say that? Where did I read that? I heard that old old story. How He gave His life on Calvary. Save a rest like man out here in about his groan. Of his precious blood atoning. Glory to church, couldn't you imagine a man hanging there? Can't you just imagine? Try, try, try to go back. If you possibly can, let's just try to go back and see what you see hanging on a cross. What do you see this morning, church, hanging on that cross? What do we see this morning? Uh, well, I see a man that's beaten down. Oh, I see a man, a man that's hanging on his flesh, uh, uh, hanging off of him. I see a man there that every drop of that blood uh, draining out of his body. Oh, why did he do that this morning? Why, church, why did he do that? Because he loved you and 
time. He wanted us to go to heaven and still a hell. And we had to do Right, church, we've been hell today. But thank God for Jesus. <laughs> thank God for Jesus, the one that died for you and I. That's something to get excited about, church. I'm knowing what he's done for you and I. Well, he just died for us, hey man. He just saved your soul, didn't he? Amen. No. Hey man, I heard about Amen. his dealing. Hey man, of his crazy power refill. Hey friend, I believe he's able to heal in Jones. Do you think he's. Well, I know he's shown he healed his soul. Hey man, but down through life, church, he heals her. He protects us. Right. He helps us through life. Thank Amen. God. Thank God for the healing power of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, friend, I'm telling you, I'm thankful we got him on our side, church. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the doctor. Yes, I thank God for uh, the knowledge that the doctors he's got today. Amen. But, friend, when he comes right down to it, the only way that we can truly be healed is through Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise His holy name. Boy, I'm glad for Him this morning. Amen. Listen, church, how He made the rain to walk, how He made the rain to walk again and caused the blind to see. Church, we was lame, friend. We was lame. We couldn't see, my friend. <laughs> We couldn't see. Oh, Lord, dear God. Church, we couldn't see. We couldn't walk. Oh, we couldn't hear. But that day, friend, could you imagine when we knelt down? That was how you get your heart up. Oh, boy. We started seeing. We started hearing. We started walking. And <laughs> hey, we went down but now we are. Oh boy, I'm going to tell you, that church, it's good to know him, baby. Amen. It is so good to know him. Amen. Amen. Praise his holy name. I hear it about a mansion. It's built for man glory. Amen. I don't know what's going to be under church. I don't ride the church. I don't care, man, what's going to be over yonder. Amen. Just a little old shack on the side of the road. If man Jesus ain't it, that's going to be all right, ain't it? <laughs> hey, church, he made a way for us, amen. I know he died on a rugged cross, amen. I thank him, amen, for everything that he does. Amen. For you and I, praise the Lord. Amen. That's the reason, Lord, I know in person, our people, amen, I believe when they got up in the morning, started to open their eyes, I believe they thought that's the reason the world's a turning because of them. No, friend, it's because of Jesus. Amen. It's because of Him. But well, one of these days, friend, we're not going to wake up on this side. Amen. You think that? Yeah. One of those people just a living her up out there. Yeah. Just a living it up. Amen. But friend, I'm going to tell you. Amen. I'm thankful, buddy, for what Jesus has done. And I heard about the streets of gold beyond the crystal sea and about the angels singing an old redemption story. You know what we're going to get to do in heaven? I heard somebody say it right now. I believe I was singing. I don't know what song we're going to sing in heaven. I believe we get to sing a song that the angels can't even sing. We're redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. amen. Those angels tell you under friend couldn't sing that. Amen. Well, we can sing it, amen. We can sing it today, praise the Lord. We're redeemed. Redeemed from what? Sin, church. We're set up on a good, solid foundation, amen. Not the world's foundation. The world's going to sink. But this foundation we're on today, <laughs> woo, hallelujah, it's going to stand, church. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I just had to read it. Or sing me, I sung this song. <laughs> hey, it's good, ain't it? Hey, man, go over into Revelation. Just say, uh-oh. 
Hey, man, we're going to read just a few minutes. We can. Uh, 13th chapter of Revelation. By the help of the Lord, uh, uh, this morning we try to do what God has us to do this morning. I thank you. Hey, man, for everything that God does for us, church. Uh, he's the reason we breathe. He's the reason we see. He's the reason we got our beings today. Hey, Amen. Uh, thank God. I'm thankful for him this morning. Uh, 13th chapter of Revelation. And I stood. Upon this sea, how upon the sand of the sea, saw the beach rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and seven and ten horns, and upon his horn ten crowns, and upon his head the name of blasphemy, amen, and the beast, and the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of the fire, and his mouth as the Mouth of a lion and the dragon give him uh, his power and he and his seal uh, and great uh, authority. Amen. And I, I saw one of his heads as it were uh, wounded to death and his uh, uh, deadly wounds uh, was healed and all the world uh, wandered after, after the beast and, uh, and they worshiped the dragon. Uh, which give power unto the beast, and they worship the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking, a man great things, blaspheming, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth and blasphemed against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, and they of uh, them uh, that dwell uh, in heaven, and it was uh, given to him to make war uh, with the saints and to overcome them, and power was given him over uh, all kindreds and tongues and nations and all the uh, and all that dwelled upon the earth uh, was wor uh, shall worship him whose name are not written uh, in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation. Uh, of the world. If any man had a year, let him hear. Amen. Church, I've heard. Amen. A lot of this. Amen. People, you know, we got charts today. People are tired to go to their charts and they like great dragons is going to raise up. Great dragons going to do that. But amen, the church, listen, God spoke to me the other day. Amen. And he told me, boy, you talk about a warfare. If the church were in a warfare, amen, today, look what's a raising up against the saints of God today, church. The old saints are raising up. He's trying his best to destroy the church. He's trying, amen. Amen. People's are falling after him day in and day out. Boy, feeding the uh, word of God. And I didn't have uh, time this morning, church. I should have done it before. Amen. Uh, hey, what's the definition uh, of boy, feeding? If you've got a, a dictionary, it can snow, uh, and the mentions can tell me, amen. Hey, uh, but, friend, I tell you, uh, they are people out there against God. They are out there trying to destroy. They are out there. Hey man, look what a youngins is having to go through today, church. Satan is raised up. Hey man, of all different kinds of, of tactics, all different kinds of hell is out there against their young people today. Hey man, but church, hey man, I tell you, we've got a man on our side that's greater than anything that can be raised up out there. Anything that Satan can throw at him, God's bigger. But friend, we are in a warfare. Will you agree that we're in a warfare? Hey man, hey man, friend. Oh, dragon, the devil's raised up. And it's going to get worse, church. It'll get worse. Hey, man, but listen, hang on to God. Yeah, boy. Ain't you glad that your name is written Amen. in the Lamb Book of Life? Rejoice. Hey, the disciples come back into Jesus and turn in Somerset. Hey, man, hey, listen, what we've done. We cast out devils. We healed them. We done that. But he said rejoice not over such, but rejoice because your name is written in the Lamb. Amen. Oh, oh, I, I'm glad, thank God. Buddy, my name is written in the Lamb book of life. Church this morning. I'm glad that Jesus thought enough of us to put us there. Yeah, buddy. 
You know we got churches today of putting them there. Preachers, pastors are putting them in the church. Placing them in the church suit him. Oh boy, come through me one time, he may know. Hey man, I hadn't went to church about three weeks at this place. And he said he had him a deacon of the church. He's excited. Right? And I said, how in this world you become a deacon so fast? The pastor put me. Pastor can't put you nowhere in the church. You God gotta set us in the church pleasing to him. If I try to say it, you'd be sitting the wrong way, get it? It wouldn't be right. Right? Somebody say amen. I don't usually say that, but say amen just a little bit. Please, amen. But I tell you, church, we can't set people in but lesson. We are in a warfare. You're, we're in a warfare. And they listen. Please listen to me, church, this morning. The devil's going to try to kill. Kill. The devil's going to try to destroy. But please listen to me. You've got victory this morning. Yes, sir. <laughs> and we've got victory. We've got victory. Not within ourselves. How much can you do within yourself? Nothing. Nothing. Well, Roger, how much can you do within yourself? Nothing. Church, we cannot do nothing. Buddy, how much can you do within yourself? Nothing. Church, we cannot do nothing gone within ourselves. It takes the precious blood of us. It takes Jesus, church, amen. It takes Him. It takes Him. It takes Him. It takes Him, church. It takes Him. But boy, ain't you a dragon to fear the devil? I tell you, church, if they just roll back the blankets of what hell is out there today. And I've often said just roll back the blankets of hell. We could see that. But if we could just roll back the blankets of hell, what's in the world? We'd be amazed. Do you think we would? Some people wouldn't bother, you know. But I tell you, church, hell's raising up. Amen. Against their young people. Lord, we need to shield them. We need to help our youngins. Amen. We need to help one another. Church, this ain't a time. And I'm thankful. I don't wreck it. And we're warring. Is anybody in here warring against each other here in the church this morning? Is anybody in here got a fault against each other here this morning? Church, we don't need to have this in the church. True. Amen. We don't need to have I'm thankful it ain't sure. I'm thankful we're here to help one another, pray for one another, to lift one another up. Hey man, we don't have time for that. We've got the devil to contend with. And he can come right in and sit down beside of us. Hey Amen. Let's realize what the devil can do. How many wants to know more about him? Amen. You want to know more about the devil? Yep. Hey Amen. Why do you want to know more about him? You can fight him better. The more you know against about your enemy, the better you can fight him. Amen. Amen. How do we learn more about? It? How do we know? What can I say? How can I put this? The things that we need, church, we need to study God's word, right? Yes. Amen. What would be help me, church? Amen. Amen. To put on the whole armor of God. Put the whole armor, friend. That's what's wrong today. People ain't to put the whole armor of God on. Let the devil destroy them. They've been days I've left some of my armor off. Is anybody else doing that? Yep. <laughs> oh, Eddie, I'm probably the only one done that. <laughs> we done it, church. Amen. And the devil come in and try to destroy it. You know the saddest thing about this is sometimes the church won't help you. You know that? That's the sad thing about it. But church, I'm telling you, we need to help one another along my struggles. I almost this morning said I wasn't going to preach this message. I didn't know how to preach it. I don't know how to preach. God knows how to preach it. I just want to open my mouth and let her come, church. Let her fall out for it lays and lays, amen. It's on me, you, whatever, amen. But we need to know what the devil is capable of this morning. He's not capable of destroying you. Yeah. Right. He's 
naval church if we lady if we lady lady amen how many ever let you shield out anybody even here let you shield out what's happened to you you know it says in the bible I, I thought about this the other day. Be careful. It's just, just a say. Some of you can help. Uh, be careful because your sins will find you out. Is that Bible or is that just a say? I don't remember reading it in the Bible, but I ain't going to say it ain't in there. But I've heard it. <laughs> Hit or miss. It's something we need to think about, ain't it? But it's somewhere down the road. We think we can hide this or that. So after a while, it'll be revealed. It'll be brought on the house top. The Bible does say that, don't it? Nothing's hidden. Nothing's hidden. Nothing's hidden, man. But we got to church, I'm telling you. But we need to pray one for another. You didn't see me weak? What to do for me? Pray for, pray you. for me. I say, you didn't weak? What to do for you? Pray for pray. We need to pray one for another. Because, church, what I'm trying to say, everything I've said this morning, we're, we are in a war. We all, we all have them. We all have them giants standing over yonder on the other ridge. Amen. It's old David and Goliath. And what, did they, what did they have of the children of Israel? What was they doing? The, the Philistines, they had them backed up. They had them backed up. I don't know if Goliath would come out there every once in a while. He had, you seen them muscle men on TV? Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, is showing him their his power, what he had. The children of Israel didn't know this little boy behind them. <laughs> the son of, of Jesse. Amen, Davy. Amen. That already went through a bar and a line. Amen. Hey Amen. God was getting him ready. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> oh, church, he'd come through. Amen. I could just see him pressing through that army, through the crowd. What's going on over here? Hey Amen. I said, well, I'll go. Hey Amen. The church. I, hey Amen. David wasn't afraid of his giant. Church, I'm a time David knew he could overcome. Why? Why did David know he could overcome? He had the Lord with him on his side. I'll go fight Goliath. Amen. I'll go. I'll go. I'll fight the giant. Amen. Church, I'm going to tell you, we've got giants in front of us. Amen. Not the, not, well, I don't know how big your giant is this morning. Amen. But I know, church, hey, what was Goliath? Nine, six or something. <coughs> Pretty tall man, wasn't he? Big old man. What's Goliath brought up for doing? In war. He knows war. He knows how to fight. Satan knows how to get you, my friend. Amen. 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 But we know who can get Satan. Right? Right. Amen. But listen to this. I'm going to try to hush you in a minute. Amen. I could just picture David. I don't know how big big David was. Amen. But went up to Saul. Went to Saul and said, I'm, I'm going to go. Didn't Saul uh, argue with him just for a thought? Yes. He wasn't able. Then I don't want to. He said, well, here, you take my shield. You take my stuff and you go ahead. David said, well, God's not proved this. Can go in this, amen. Church, we cannot go through man's ways. We cannot defeat Satan in man-made ways. Amen. We've got to defeat Satan through God's ways. Amen. I know it said he had four other brothers go off dead, amen. Don't know why. People says this, that he had four other cases They'd come out. I don't know. But he picked up how many stones? Five smooth stones and went his way. 
to life, life, daddy. How many times has the devil laughed at you, my friend? Mm -hmm. Has he laughed at you? Yep. Amen. Look at that little grown, grown scrawny thing. That ain't nothing. Amen. But I'm glad we can pull out Jesus, eh? Amen. Why, David said, you come to me with a spirit of soul, but I come to you how? In the name, name of the Lord. Lord. In the name of the That makes a difference. Right. That makes all the world a difference. If we come in the name of the Lord, Amen. we can defeat our giants. Amen. Amen. But church, we are in a warfare. Mm -hmm. Revelations, every how you take revelation, I know, I've never seen, you've been in these services where they got all the charts that, that gets up and they, all the beast and all the everything that they show, man, that's going to raise up all this. Church, I tell you what's raising up against us is Satan. He's raising up against our young ones. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. I was talking to somebody the other day about their young ones. I mean, just real young in school. I, well, in first, what the, what's it the, in the middle school first? Sixth grade? Six through eight. Six through eight. Sixth grade. That it's amazing what you can see. <clears throat> Amen. In sixth grade now. It's amazing. Yeah. Where do they get this at, church? We let them. Boy, we'll come to church, amen. We'll fight, fight old Satan. Mm -hmm. You know what? We'll go to their homes, hear the games, TVs, yes. all different kinds of stuff. We let them sit there, amen. We just welcome it in. Welcome it in, right? Mm -hmm. It's just the way it is, church. Sure. Amen. But I tell you, friend, we are in a war. The church is in a war for our young ones. Lord, we're in so much of a warfare. <laughs> but old David, he defeated. Didn't David defeat the giant? Didn't he defeat the giant, Cherry? Yes. Yes. Well, you think we can defeat the giant today? Yes. What kind of giant you got in your life this morning? Yes. What kind of devil's coming up against you? Yes. Time I wake up, time I go to some well, I had my drink. I had no one off with dreams the other night. Hey man, I got in a fight for some man. Hey man, he dug out a knife. It looked like it's that little boy we wrestled over that knife for so long. And finally, I got the knife from him. And it's awful. I finally got him right here, and he come out the top of his head like that. Hey man, I hope that's Satan. <laughs> hey man, church it just dreamed. I dreamed, 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 dreamed. Dream. A good dream of the night, too. We was all going through a big field, come up to the field. Me and Merlo and Robbie. A bunch of them couldn't hardly walk. Hey, man, we got the fence. Marlo, she jumped over the fence. <laughs> Robbie, she dove under the fence. Hey, man. Hey, man. The church, I'm going to tell you, had to, but a lot of times, church, things is real. You know that. Things is real. Hey, man, Satan, he's real here this morning. Yeah. And church, we need to realize how, how what Satan can do if we let him. And Numbers 32 and 23. But if you will not do so, behold, you have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sins will find you out. Amen. They sure will. Anybody else your sins ever found you out? Oh, yeah. Somehow or another old preacher knows about it. The, mm -hmm. uh, somebody knows about it. Never been around them or whatever. Amen. We need to be, be careful, man. But we got people, people. We got young ones. Needs to be protected today. Amen. Young ones around church, Lord help. That ain't even in church. I thank God for young parents thinking enough of their young to bring them to church. Let them hear about Jesus. Let them hear this old dumb preacher. <laughs> Amen. I tell you, church. We need to tell them about Jesus. Amen. Amen. Tell them how. I, I know this woman. I'll say this. I'll try my best to I know this woman that would not mention hell around her grand young. So she didn't want her, their, her grand young to know about hell. And I tell you, we need to teach them how bad hell truly is. Mm -hmm. would, it, would it be wrong to me just put the fear of God in them? Mm -hmm. Can I say that or not? 
Amen. We need to put the fear of God in. Amen. And show and tell them, amen, what this thing is, church. Because they are a eternity of coming one day to each and every one of us. Let me ask you this. Are they just 90-year-old people and older on the, on the hills here? No. Murray? No. No, different From what? What year? From babies on. From babies on. Amen. Why? Well, everybody just had 90 years to live. We might have that 90 years. What kind of world would we live in? It'd be terrible. But it ain't like that, church. But we need to have the fear of God placed in our hearts. Amen. Show us. Tell us how bad this thing is. Tell them how good it is. God's good, ain't he? Oh, and you think God gets gooder and gooder? God gets gooder and gooder. <laughs> Amen. Let us stand. Let us keep coming.